I am the short, small man. I'm the little man. I cannot make an impression predicated on my diminutive height. I'm only five, two and a half. And these big, gross features. Humpty Dumpty head, no neck. We begin with that. Church of the Transmutations, we begin with that. Knowing what you're working with. Getting clear on that, and then we take it from there. We make the adjustments and the flexibility required to survive. And I'm talking just survival. You'll laugh at my singing. You'll cry at my jokes. I'm the man who hits the stage and the house wants to laugh at me because of my ridiculous appearance. I get, will get very adverse responses from my house because they want to laugh at me. I have to be very carefully camouflaged or I will not be taken seriously. And then we get back to the bottom line. I better be in tremendous, tremendous fighting shape. I better have muscle up the yin yang to make up for what I lack in appearance and personality. That's all. That's the truth. You begin with the truth. What I'm representing right now is the Church of the Transmutation. You do a vigorous, violent, aggressive, prosecutorial self-analysis you know what you see there you're very practical and realistic with everything where am I vulnerable then you have to ask yourself with a woman are we visually an item you better know where you stand with that woman at all times don't take anything for granted and remember there's no template all you can do is circulate 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 Keep on returning into the arena of confrontation and encounter in a fearless way. You're there to get the practical experience, to get the exposure to blood, just like going to war, just like training to be a soldier. You've got to blood them. The bad experiences are vital. My critic uh, opponents that will insult and mock me, put me in pillory, I cleave to them. Because they're the only ones who will tell me the truth about myself. I take very seriously into account what they're saying and recreate what they're saying. By that I mean what provoked my mocker, my sadistic. What did I say? What did I do? How did I look? I recreate that experience. Do a logical sortie on it. Examine it from every angle. Keep asking questions again and again and again ruthlessly and following the thread wherever it takes me in a very practical and realistic way taking it very seriously there's nothing funny about what I'm saying right here if you laugh take it out on me you're laughing at my ridiculous big face and gross features and my small height take a laugh out of me take a laugh out of me if you want to and then Listen to what I'm saying. Listen for your life. It's a jungle out there. Never give a sucker an even break. You fight for your survival. Eric Byrne wrote the book, What Do You Say, Dr. Eric Byrne, after you say hello? I say... What do you say to approach hello in the first place when you look like me? I'm a short, small man with a big head, a big, big gross features, and diminutive body. I'm weak in my body at the present time. That's all. I'm old, I'm pasty-faced. That's all. It takes that ruthless self-assessment assessment and that ruthless honesty begin with that and then we see where that's going to take you then you're no longer the victim of the feel-good artists the ones that give phony accolades phony encouragements and don't know what the hell they're talking about hold your counsel check everything out never 
trust what anybody says until you have completely checked it out for yourself. That's the final word.